Hello everyone, it's Not A Noob Pat, and welcome to Perk Review. Today we're taking a look at the level 40 Ace Visconti perk, Ace in the Hole. If you are using this perk, you are guaranteed to get an add-on of purple quality or lower, and there's a 50% chance you will get a second yellow or bronze add-on. This perk has seen several improvements since its addition to the game. This perk now allows you to keep your add-ons if you escape. As many of you know, since patch 3.6, you only keep your item when you escape and not your attachments anymore, unless of course you're using this perk. The cons are fairly straightforward. You really want to be utilizing Plunder's Instinct with this perk to make it super helpful. This means you would be utilizing this perk in a chest build. As far as getting random add-ons, there are quite a few meh add-ons in the game. Increasing the amount of charges on a med kit, flashlight, or toolbox is awesome but some of the add-ons you're going to get with this perk won't be super helpful. Let's get into our demonstration. In this first clip, without Ace in the Hole, you can see that I don't get an item with an add-on out of the chest. Then in all the subsequent examples, I have the perk active, so I get add-ons with each item. In this example, I got particularly lucky, as all three chests ended up having three items with two add-ons. Let's get into our examples. In this first game, I show how getting add-ons can be significantly beneficial. With this medkit, I get two add-ons. Both increase healing speed, and the wrap also adds eight charges on top of that. Then, I'm able to pull a map for my teammate in the basement that has increased tracking range and the ability to track exit gates. I like how I can run around and get items with add-ons for my teammates. Obviously, you don't have to take all of these for yourself. Here, you can see that I am using this medkit from earlier in the game to heal myself since I don't have self-care or a healing perk. Then, I find a toolbox with moderately increased repair speed that I'm able to use to finish this generator with Claudette. Finally, I'm going to get the escape here. With this perk, I get to keep my add-ons that I found as well. Then, David King is going to use his map from earlier in the game and use the attachment to help find the exit gate so he can escape with me. For our next game, I grab a flashlight with a lens. Then, I'm able to pull a medkit with 12 extra charges. I'm not rocking self-care, so after I'm hit by this Huntress, this med kit is going to come in handy as I can heal my teammate and myself with the increased charges. Then, I'm going to nab a toolbox with 12 additional charges and an add-on that eliminates skill checks. This can be greatly beneficial against the Huntress, especially if they're rocking Huntress Lullaby. Finally, I get a map with an increased tracking range add-on. I use this map to find the hatch when my last teammate is killed. I believe that the hatch probably would have been out of range without this add-on, so this add-on helped here. With those examples, let's give it a grade. In my opinion, Ace in the Hole is a 3.5 out of 10. Unless you're using god tier add-ons you want to keep them, or you're running a chest build, you should probably use another perk. Even if you do have great add-ons, this perk does rely on you surviving in order to keep them. Furthermore, I believe most survivors run this as an accessory to Plunder's Instinct in their chest builds, this means it kind of needs another perk for viability. Furthermore, unless you use an offering to increase chests, this perk will work a maximum of three times in a match. This is so long as your teammates don't also open the other chests, but that can definitely be an issue. Finally, getting some add-ons make this perk awesome, but on the opposite side, you can also get some unhelpful add-ons too, which makes this perk a bit of a waste. So it just depends on your luck. In summary, this is awesome for chest builds or keeping great add-ons, but it's not so helpful if you get bad add-ons or your teammates open all the chests. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk review videos, make sure to look at the links in the description. Finally, I would appreciate it if you took a moment to visit my channel and subscribe. Take it easy.